If you love baseball, this is the time of year and the place of all places to revel in it. Spring training is underway. Rejoice. But even if baseball isn't your passion, there is the economic impact of having the Baltimore Orioles calling Saras other home. Both the team and the community appear pleased, although, as ABC7's Adam Cellini reports, there are still questions. John Parmenter and the 12th Street Cafe are getting ready for their first spring training in the aptly named Grand Slam Plaza, one street over from Ed Smith Stadium. We're hoping it's going to bump our business a little bit. Parmenter, like others, sees spring training as a golden goose here in Florida. Counties spend millions to attract teams to the area, hopeful that it can drive more spending for a month and a half. According to Sarasota County's Tourism Bureau, that's exactly what the Orioles have accomplished here. They are now one of our top producers of visitors from that area. These are people who are not just coming in high season in March, but they're visiting Sarasota County 12 months out of the year. In exchange for using 24 million in tourist development tax dollars to rehab Ed Smith back in 2010, the Orioles provide a million dollars worth of free advertising in the Baltimore area, which has become a top three origin city of our visitors. Virginia Haley says the impact of tourists cannot be overstated. It's as though you're getting a $450 check every year from the visitors, each household. That's the amount of savings you have because visitors are spending dollars here in this area. The county analyzed the full economic impact of spring training and the 40 to 50 other events the facility hosts after March, like Run for the Birds, Opera in the Park, and dozens of youth baseball games. They say the total return is around $89 million this past year, a number that far exceeded the vision of team executive vice president John Angelos. It's a testament to our willingness and our resolve that we grow that number every year. It's a testament to our team, our staff, that we grow that number year in and year out. But economist Kristen Zaborski warns not to take these numbers at face value. In the study, the county says their total is the state of Florida impact. And to generate that number, they input attendance surveys from those events and add it to a formula that estimates the average spending while in town. It can be hard to measure. Um, and it can also be um, easy to uh, inflate. Where are you visiting from? Is this your first time? Are you, um, do you attend all of the spring training events? Good to see you. Former County Commissioner Joe Barbetta believes the Orioles have met their economic goals, but they left one empty promise, a youth baseball academy across the street. They did still say they were going to eventually do a youth baseball academy. It wasn't part of the $31.2 million deal but I still think they should do that. Angelos disputes these claims, arguing the youth baseball project would have required an extra $15 million investment from the county. Anyone that would tell you that completely misunderstands the partnership and I believe is misstating the facts. Before the Orioles, Barbetta was negotiating with the Boston Red Sox, who he says had investors lining up to revamp strip malls around a new stadium at Payne Park and promised to continue a minor league team like the Cincinnati Reds before them. Did we get a good deal? I think we did, but so did they. Uh, and, and they got a nice long-term lease, so I think everybody won there, but in reality, uh, I would like to see them do a youth baseball academy. I'd like to see them use a the stadium more. But again, Angelo says a minor league team at Ed Smith was not part of the deal. But he is proud of what the Orioles have accomplished at nearly one third of the Red Sox asking price. The reality is that although the county gave much, much less than what was being contemplated, we've been able to perform at far, far higher levels. So the county's gotten a fabulous deal. The Red Sox eventually decided to stay in Lee County and cost taxpayers a staggering $81 million. Here, the Orioles were paid for by tourists, but it's the locals who have truly come to accept the team as one of our own. As proof, we helped the club set a spring training attendance record by selling out nearly every one of their home games last season. In Sarasota, Adam Cellini, ABC7, your Suncoast News.